Good morning, kids! Maganda umaga! Or should I say, na imbag nga bigat kada kayo amin in Ilocano. So, how are you kids today? Happy ba kayo? Excited ba kayo? Or medyo sad kayo? Or inaantok pa kayo? <laughs> anyway, uh, may papakilala pala akong mga friends sa inyo. Now, number one, si Maria. Maria is a nice girl. Um, sometimes she's naughty. Makulit at pasaway. Just like the other kids. So, mahilig siya sa sweets. Mahilig siya sa chocolates, lollipops, gummy bears, cakes, cupcakes. You name it. Kayo din ba? Mahilig doon? Pero si Maria, everyday siyang kumakain ng mga sweets. So, minsan nasusobrahan niya. And sometimes, sinasabihan na siya ng mami at daddy niya na huwag sobrahan. And lagi siyang nire-remind na mag-toothbrush. Pero, you know what Maria always do? She always eat and eat and eat sweets. Pero, lagi niyang nakakalimutan or kinakalimutan mag-toothbrush. And can you guess what happened to Maria after how many months of eating chocolates and anything sweet? Tapos, hindi siya nang tututbrush lagi. That's right. Um, she got cavities and she had to go to the dentist. Kasi, kailangan nang bunutin yung ngipin niya kasi sobrang sakit na eh. Hirap na, nang sakit nun, di ba? Tama. So, this is Sam. This is my second friend. One day, Sam saw a bunch of boys bullying one of his classmates. Kasi, nakita niyang binubully yung classmate niya kasi hindi, hindi magaling magbasa yung classmate niya na yun. And, inisip ni Sam, ipagtatanggol ko ba yung, yung classmate ko at sasabihin kay teacher yung situation? Or, or, uh, or, hahayaan ko na lang. Kasi, baka ako pa yung awayin nila. And you know what Sam did? He stood up for his classmate that was being bullied. And sinabi niya sa teacher nila, yung situation. So, after that, hindi na ulit binuli yung kaklase nila. Galing, no? Galing. So, if, kayo, kayo ba si Sam? Ganun din ba kayo? Ipagtatanggol nyo din ba yung kaklase yung binubuli? Or, huwag na lang kayong makikisaw-saw sa usapan dahil baka kayo pa yung madamay at kayo pa yung awayin. Hmm. So, kids, ito naman si Max. He really loves rain. That's why, every time na naumuulan, he'll go out and play under the rain. Lagi siyang naliligo sa ulan. Masaya nun, di ba? But one day, he felt really weak and tired. And it suddenly rained. Sabi ng daddy niya, mag ka muna, anak. Um, have some sleep to gain your energy back, sabi ng daddy niya. But you know what Max did? Out of his excitement, he ran outside. Tapos naligo siya sa ulan. Kahit na he feel weak and very tired. Sabi ko, excited ako. Gusto kong maging happy. Happy ako sa ulan. Kaya, he went outside. Tapos naligo siya doon. Kahit na masama yung pakiramdam niya. And do you know what happened? Ano bang mangyayari kapag naligo ka sa ulan tapos you feel weak? Nilagnat siya, guys. Nilagnat siya and he was hospitalized. Now, kids, what can you observe on the three scenarios? Anong ma-observe nyo kay Maria, Sam, and Max na magkakaparehas? Similarities. Yes, they all have um, the freedom to choose and make decisions. Maria, Sam, and Max, the three of them, gumagawa sila ng mga decision. And then, lahat yon may 
kaakibat na consequences. Si Maria, hindi nag-toothbrush after niyang kumain ng madaming sweets. Anong nangyari? Napunta siya sa dentist at nabunot yung mga ngipin niya. Si Sam, um, pinili niyang ipagtanggol yung classmate niya. And as a result, hindi na ulit binuli yung classmate. Si Max, naligo pa rin siya sa ulan kahit na masama yung pakiramdam niya. And after that, na-hospitalize siya. He got sick. So, just like them, ganun din tayo, kids. Our everyday lives are filled with choices and decisions to make. And sabi ko nga kanina, lahat yon may kaakibat na consequences. Either bad or good. Hmm. So, you know kids, God loves us so much. That's why He has given us this life, our parents and others, our friends, and of course, the gift of free will. When I say free will, it is the ability and freedom to choose what we want. And with this, with these gifts, we should be grateful. But you know what? Kasama ng free will natin na binigay ng God, um, ay us being careful and considerate sa mga decisions na gagawin natin or mga ginagawa natin in life. Because, as God's sons and daughters, what we do and how we live is how we honor God. So, I will give you these three points, kids. Number one, let us always choose properly by thinking about the consequences of our actions. Pwede tayong kumain ng ng sweets, ng chocolates, and gummy bears, and lollipops. Pero, wag naman nating damihan or moderate lang. And lagi tayong mag-toothbrush. Kasi kung hindi natin gagawin yun, mat matutulad tayo kay Maria na baka mabunot yung mga ngipin natin na magaganda, ba? <laughs> Ayaw natin yun. And pangalawa, ask the guidance of our parents and of course, God, by praying and reading the Bible when we cannot make decisions of our own. Kapag di tayo, parang pag hindi tayo sure kung ano yung best para sa atin. Sometimes in life kasi kids, may mga decisions na hindi natin madadesisyonan on our own. Just like if inaway tayo ng classmate natin, we can ask God how to respond sa situation na yun. Awain ba natin pabalik yung kas kaklase natin? Or um, sasabihin na lang kay teacher yung nangyari para ma-resolve yung issue. Well, God has given us the Holy Bible too. Na puno ng answers if confused tayo to which decision to make. We have to refer what is written in the Bible in making decisions, kids. Kasi minsan, there are things na sa paningin natin ng humans ay feeling natin tama. But, ang katotohanan ay that will harm us. Hindi pala yun yung best para sa atin. So, um, let's ask God for wisdom and discernment para makita natin kung, kung ano yung best para sa atin. Kasi, God always wants the best for us. So, let's read the Bible and pray. ba? And the third one, um, what we do and how we live is how we honor God. God loves us so much that He wants the best for us. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina. So, let's always live our life with gratitude. Huwag natin kalilimutan. Magpasalamat. You can always say a prayer to God if of how grateful you are for the freedom to choose and for all the gifts na binibigay niya sa life na. So, that's all kids. Um, hawakan niyo yung, yung hands ng parents niyo and invite na sila to dance with us. Alright?
it's memory verse time! So our memory verse for the week is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. It says, So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Let's repeat. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. It says, So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Let's pray, kids. Abba Father, our loving God, we received your message today. Thank you for today that we are reminded of your love to us. Lord, we get to enjoy this life by giving us the freedom to choose. Lord, marami salamat for the free will. Oh God, guide us with your word if we don't seem to know what is best. We ask you to grant us the spirit of wisdom and discernment as we stand strong in our decisions. Lord, all these we thank and pray in the loving name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Bye kids! See you next week! Happy Sunday kids! We are excited to see you submit a video of here dancing with us. Make sure you visit GCIPH Online Children's Ministry page for the details. See ya!